What's up guys? Baker here. Very excited for this tutorial. Calling this the um the glassy holographic screens. And um basically it's this thingy I made in this edit. So if you can see, it's a uh, see-through, it's got some uh RGB split, some little bit of distortion, and you can see the shine is moving and it just looks very glassy and sleek. And um I also used it in the pretty close to the end let's see see that text pretty much uh, walks through it and it's pretty cool because you can have like flares and other things behind and it will still warp it as if it was you know actually floating there and distorting the uh, thingies behind it like some glass and stuff would so anyways <clears throat> here are the, the examples I'm gonna kinda be going over it's fast but uh, you can kinda see it's like the screen and you know got the uh, colors and the warping and he just walks right through it and you can easily just you know replace this with some text and now it says uh, oh hi there and it's hard to see just because it's you know small and the maps not good to work with right here but um, if you just get the concept down I think it'll be pretty cool so what we're gonna do is um, whenever you make a montage or anything or an edit you pretty much always want to pre-compose your lips 90% of the time. So I have like the main clip here and it's pretty cool. If you want to motion track a clip I would suggest using hardcore like this because um, in Buju you can mask out the kill feed and the gun and that's pretty much it. You don't have to worry about the bars or the um, the HUD and all that other stuff going on. So anyways if you want to motion track like just this beginning make your um, comp work area just to the part that you want to um, motion track, okay? And then so you can just render out a short, you know, 100 frame JPEG sequence. And um, once you import the MA file, which would look like this, if I just go into that comp, come on. It's only like a second long or so, and that's cool. But I'm just going to take the camera and just uh, Command C, Control C, copy, and just paste it back into your thing. As long as your um, marker is still where the timeline was, you know, still set. So nothing like changed. Okay, so once you got that all settled, we'll go ahead and just make a new composition for the screen. We'll call this screen thingy. And let's go ahead and type some stuff. So, um, yo, what's, what's up, guys? Biker here. <coughs> All right, so you don't have to do this either, but I always like to put some uh, some grid lines. You can do Venetian blinds or whatever other people do, but you know, I'm just so used to grid. I'll just uh, stick with that. Put on some grid, width and height sliders, width 2,000, oops, 2,000, and just slide that line over. Get out of here. And then just lower the opacity of the grid, maybe like 25%, kind of subtle. And we're going to make a new solid for the background behind this because this is um, just text, alpha file, and alpha channel in the line. So we're going to put it on the back and then fill it with a perfect neutral gray. And that's going to be 127, 127, 127. Come on. Oh no! Why am I getting this rainbow wheel? 127, 127, 127. All right. So uh, turn that back on. We get some gray. Okay, and you'll see why we're doing that. Um, I'm also gonna make one more solid. We'll make this white, and um, we're gonna add a linear wipe. So this will kind of be the fake shine. So if I just set it in the middle somewhere, I can just you know rotate it slightly. And uh, I'll just start it, you know, somewhere over here, keyframe the completion, move forward. See, our thing was about a second and a half long, so I'll just go around there and set it, you know, to the other side. So it looks kind of like a realistic reflection moving. I mean, you know, it's all, all of it's fake. You know, yeah, okay. Anyway, so we're back into here, and we'll just bring in our screen thingy, and we'll make it uh, 3D. Okay. 
And um, let's uh, scale this down quite a bit. And um, let's put it into position where we think we want it to be. So let me just move this around real quick. And then just kind of see where it's at. So it's kind of kind of pretty close. I mean, there are some 3D um, issues with the, the thingy and the wall in the way. But anyways, I'm not going to worry about that. Just kind of rotate it. Probably scale it down even more. And uh, put it, uh, you know, make sure it's kind of look like it's floating around here. Scooting it over. All right, so, you know, you can mess with that. Once you get your thing set, we'll set this to uh, overlay. That's why I wanted the background to be gray. So it looks kind of cool. Um, let's also change the opacity of that shine. It's a little way too bright. So maybe 50 or even lower. So you can kind of see that. It's got that shine coming in. And it looks like a floating screen. All right. So um, what I'm going to do, actually, is uh, make an adjustment layer. OK. And we'll duplicate the screen thingy. And the one on the bottom, we'll turn that off and then use the adjustment layer's track mat of the alpha mat of the screen thingy. Which means if I undo, uh, turn that off on the adjustment layer, if I put on, let's say, levels, put that on the adjustment layer, it will only affect just where that square is. You kind of see that? So I can kind of color correct it, maybe a little tiny bluish tint. You kind of see that going on? And um, I can put in any effects I want on the adjustment layer and it only affects that screen. So what I used was um, turbulent displace. So I'll start with that. And we'll set the amount down to like 25 and the size down to about 50. So it's not too much warping. And um, we can uh, and we can animate the evolution because we are you know looking at different angles through the glass. So there is going to be a little bit of movement in the warping. So you can kind of see that going on. I also used uh, Magic Bullet Lux for the RGB split. So if we go into edit here. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. We're going to use some chromatic aberration. So any of these is fine. And we'll just set this, you know, to like 2 or something. And uh, negative 2. Just so we get some split going on. Click OK. Make sure your computer is really slow and stuff. And then you can kind of see we get some uh, splitting of the thingies. and it looks pretty holographic. That's what I was going for. So we'll turn the main screen thingy back on so we can see our text. And um, yeah, there you go. It's kind of moving. And then you just you know, walk through it. And uh, that's about it. So the trick here is to remember using a 3D layer as a track mat for an adjustment layer. And uh, you can do some pretty cool effects. I mean, maybe if you wanted, um, take that off, put on uh, what's it called find edges or something. Put that on. Let's see what this looks like. Ah, there we go. Maybe uh, invert that. And oh, that looks pretty cool. Look at that. It's like you know, X-ray screen. Yeah. I don't know, I just think you can do some cool stuff. So hopefully that can, you know, spark your imagination. Now for the text, it's the exact same thing. So just make a 3D text layer, like like uh, what's up or something. I have no idea what's going on. Make it 3D. Put it, um, I'm just going to copy the position of the screen thingy. Paste it on the position of the text. And then uh, just rotate it, you know. It's like looking at us. And uh, maybe put it down here. And then just put that above the adjustment layer with the track mat still on. And then you can see it only appears on the text. And uh, pretty cool stuff. But uh, yeah, holographic, kind of glassy text, adjustment layer, and magic bullet looks, and track mats and stuff. So um, if you make an edit or something, go ahead and leave a video response. Um, other links in the description for, you know, 3D motion tracking or track mat tut if you want some more explanation on that. So go ahead and check it out. Leave a like because this is an amazing tutorial. I like this effect. Try and be original here. And, uh, yeah, comment and all that good stuff. All right, that's it. Peace.